How do you turn this three-step journey into a four-step journey? Or what about turning this seven-month timeline into a six-month timeline? Watch this short video to see how you can repurpose your slides with just a few shortcut keys. The first thing that you need to do is to break the slide into its smallest component parts because some items might be grouped and we don't know which they are at this stage. So click on the edge of the slide and press Ctrl A to select everything and then press Ctrl Shift G to ungroup. You might need to do this a few times to break the slide parts into their smallest components. Now that I've done this, I can regroup the parts that I want to resize. I'm going to click and drag and draw an imaginary box around the three steps. Once I've enclosed them, I press Ctrl G to group them. Now holding down the Shift key to keep the proportions constrained, I drag and resize these three steps so there'll be enough room to fit a fourth step in. Don't freak out about the text not fitting, I'll deal with that in just a second. This seems about the right size, so I now press Ctrl Shift less than to, re to reduce the size of the text in the parts that I have selected. This is great because 18 becomes 16, 12 becomes 10. It's proportional across everything that I've selected. So that's Ctrl Shift less than to resize the text. Now that I've got the correct size, I ungroup, Control shift g and then I just select the third section here and group that, Control g Now press Control d to duplicate this part. Shift it over and tuck it behind. Now I'm going to select the whole thing and group it again just to make sure that it's in the centre of the slide. Now onto the timeline. I can easily just click the component parts and remove December. I now draw an imaginary box around the other months and press Ctrl G to group them. I stretch this out holding the Shift key to constrain the proportions. When I've got it roughly in the right place, I'll center the whole group again. Now Ctrl Shift greater than will increase the font want to be consistent with the sizing in the detailed parts of my slide. I'm Sharon Connolly from Change Superhero. Follow me every week for tech tips making your life easier as a change or project professional.